Hey everybody, Juliana here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to recreate this mountain icon using one single path and the pen tool. So let's get started. The first tool that I'm going to be reaching for is my pen tool, and I'm going to make sure I have in my appearance panel zero fill. The stroke set to anything contrasting this photo, so I'm going to pick orange since it's blue. I'm going to set the stroke to four, and then all I'm going to do is just start trying to trace a mountain silhouette. This is just a reference. You can do whatever you want. And don't try to have too much detail or be perfect because we're going to be redoing some of these in just a second. So it's okay if you make a mistake. Don't worry about it. All right, and if you get to the end and you have this little tail right here, all you have to do is hit V and it'll go to your selection tool. and It'll take you out of this. Okay, now I'm just going to pull this up a little bit so we can get a better look at it. There is a piece right here that maybe I wanna pull out. I'm going to go to my direct selection tool. And when I click that, you can see all of these anchor points light up. If I double click one of these, now I can move them individually. I think I like how that is looking. Now I don't need my reference photo. I'm going to unlock it and I can either go to unlock all or option command two. Okay, now I'm gonna change this mountain from orange to black. That way the contrast is just easier to see on this white background. Now I need to go to the advanced stroke options. This is where I'm going to get these tapered ends. And the way you do that is you change the profile. So if you go to uniform to the lemon shape, this is your default. So you definitely have this and you click that, you get these tapered ends. We just have to thicken the stroke and we start defining the mountain silhouette just a little bit more. All right, our next step is we have to expand this path to a shape. We're gonna to go to object, expand appearance. And then when I do that, now I have tons of little anchor points all around my shape instead of just through the middle. So we can manipulate much easier. When you saw I expanded it, all of these little paths seem to be crossing. So we don't want those to get in the way. So I'm gonna to go to my Pathfinder tool. If you don't have it up, go to Window, Pathfinder, and then we are just gonna hit Unite. Crossing paths are going to go away. All right, and then now we're going to pull down these shadow pieces right here. Instead of us doing our own triangles, we're just gonna use what we have. As you can see in this reference photo, naturally between the peaks, there is a little bit of shadow. So that's what we're going to mimic in this icon. I'm gonna grab my direct selection tool and I'm gonna be pulling these pieces down and in. If you pull them straight down, all of them, it looks kind of awkward. Try to mix it up because it is an organic shape. Of course, it's not all gonna be uniform. There you have it. This is your mountain icon. For the rest of this, I'm just going to quickly add a little bit of color and then also a bit of text. All right, you now have your mountain icon and I promise I will also include these fonts in this work file so you can have them. And if you found this helpful, please let me know. Hit that subscribe button and if you're on IGTV, make sure to set up your notifications. So thank you for watching. More tutorials are on the way and please don't stop creating.